Hey guys, Blartanian here. Lufania can be a stressful place, with large orb-shaped robots who have attack orbs and defense orbs and evade orbs and defense ignoring orbs and this fight has a lot of orbs, doesn't it? In any event, I'm here to provide you with a sense of profound zen-like focus and balance, not unlike a serious ninja training, the sort where you need to leave your family for years and only have the companionship of your trusty dog in order to get through it. This is the DFFOO ASMR guided sleep experience for harmony and ninja balance and ascension and nirvana. Ooh, we haven't used nirvana yet. Yeah, nirvana, let's stick that in there. I'm gonna throw some tickets at Shadow because, well, I like him from Final Fantasy VI and throwing things seems appropriate given his fighting style. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start off with the free multi-draw. Well, two power stones, we are ready for the FR era. <laughs> and going ahead with our Amuse Bouche, our little intention setting free daily poll, gives us junk, but that's not the point. The point is to set the, uh, the intention and get our mind kind of ready, giving us the clarity we need to continue with these polls. I am once again drowning in tickets thanks to Divine Shiva, so I'm ready to sit down and just you know, kind of follow follow the path that the, the tickets lead me on. Shadow goes on a bit of a journey himself. Um, as mentioned, he uh, you know he's a loner for most of the the game. He's kind of following his own path, kind of following where the wind takes him, so to speak, or something. I don't know. Kind of a mercenary sort of attitude, I guess. But uh, anyway. I, uh, I guess that's what we're doing here. We're just... Well, actually, we're the ones spending stuff, aren't we? We're not making it. This really isn't very mercenary at all, is it? Okay, so the okay the shadow connection metaphor there kind of fell apart just a little bit. But that's all right. We're just going to see what we... Huh, there we go. Uh, all I needed to do was tr stop trying to force that metaphor through, and uh, there we go, we got it. 50 tickets? That's not bad. I will gladly accept this LD in 50 tickets. And now what? I'm not really sure how much I'll actually use Shadow, but he looks like fun, and I I like Shadow. He's... I'd say he's like kind of a B-tier favorite for me. I just I enjoy him, but he's not like my favorite favorite. So having his LD in my back pocket will be a handy little thing. I think he has a fairly unique kit. In some ways, he's quote-unquote just a damage dealer, but... Um, you know, ignoring defense is super handy these days, and I kind of like a damage dealer whose, like, secondary qualification is that he offers a sort of unique defensive utility on top of being a damage dealer. I, you know, I enjoyed 8 quite a lot when he came out with his LD back in the day. Hopefully Shadow will provide me with a similar sense of, um, satisfaction, let's say. And I love dogs, so at the end of the day, hey, <laughs> extra dog on the roster? Sign me up. Well, with that uh, out of the way, you know, kind of loose little appraisal, we got the LD. Um, I guess now all we do is, uh, well, I guess we'll fill out some boards, fill out, you know, max the rest of Shadow's stuff out, and, um, yeah. I guess revel in that, or not revel, but uh, kind of bask in that, that glow of satisfaction, you know. Not necessarily, you know, uh, patting ourselves on the back or anything, just being present in the moment and realizing that I never actually picked up his high armor, so I should probably go ahead and do that. Not having an ego about things, we're just practicing awareness. Awareness of how cool it feels to have gotten that LD in a relatively short amount of time. Trying to pad out the remaining minutes of this video because... Whenever a pull video is under 7 minutes, it just doesn't do as well, so here we are. YouTube analytics are a hell of a drug. Oh, don't do drugs, those are not uh, not good for you. Stay in school, kids. Trying to make this uh, a good, healthy wellness uh, meditative experience or whatever. And not one that will lead you down a path of debauchery and hedonism.
in case you can't tell, I've had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm actually a little bit scattered. <sighs> oh, there we go. We got the sh Shadow's armor there. I should probably... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get his Lufania armor or whatever the high armor call it. I tried doing the fight a little before doing these pulls, and uh, it's it's an interesting one. Um, you need to bring a different team than what I was trying to do there, so that'll be that'll be fun. I know folks are kind of saying, okay, the years, you know, fights are calming down. It's a bit more, you know, we're starting to enter the uh, the garbage time or whatever. But I don't know. I'm still I'm still finding enough of a uh, a challenge from things, having to kind of think about who I want to bring that I'm enjoying it. Granted, again, it's just, we're just getting started. We'll check back with me in three months and let's see how I feel. <laughs> there we go. Nice and maxed out. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess there's not much more to say than that. I'm kind of just been filling up time, really, like. Go ahead and fix his artifacts, because as you know, artifacts are extremely important very important stuff that we get that 300 that 990 max brave added to our totals because otherwise we wouldn't be able to cap and oh shit i need to figure out a slot for his e-sphere if i don't if i don't put ooh, that's gonna be a difficult decision there are a lot of good e-spheres and a lot of bad e-spheres that we could be put there I'd go to the Tombridge Troop website, but they, uh, they removed their sphere guide from the characters. They only have it in one central location for all characters, and I don't have that kind of critical thinking bandwidth. Shit. 